talking about the, my grazing system here, the paddock system here, uh, I suppose going back 10 years, I suppose a lot of my paddocks were probably 10 acres plus. Um, and then what we did was put a bunch of sheep into the paddock and when they cleared the paddock, they went on to someplace else. And they went on to someplace else. And what we found was that if there was good grass in the paddock, there'd be good grass in it for maybe half the time and then they'd spend the rest of the time clearing out this midland grass. Um, so we decided just to divide up your paddocks and maybe try and move the sheep quicker, you know. Uh, started that, I suppose, around about 2013, 14, there thereabouts. And it seems to have worked, worked very well, you know. Uh, I suppose I'm never stuck for a paddock to go to because I always have a paddock that has grass in it. So uh, that's one thing I might say, well, the grass might be scarce, but if I'm going someplace, there's always grass in some paddock, be it wherever it is, there's always grass. Sometimes there's too much grass, but there is always grass. The longer, the more resting days you have for a paddock, the better as such, you know, uh, rather than sheep grazing it all the time. It leaves me with more grass. Uh, that means I can take out a paddock if I need to, skip a paddock, go on and start grazing someplace else or whatever. So what it does is it takes the pressure off me, um, you know, and at all times of the year, really, it's not just that when grass growth is really good, it's even when grass growth is not so good, uh, you'll still have grass somewhere to go to, you know.